generative AI solutions like OpenAI's ChatGPT and even text to image generators like Midjourney and so many more are creating this crazy opportunity in the market right now. I do believe a lot of eyes are being focused in the semiconductor market. And while you guys know me, I'm a huge semiconductor investor, I do believe there are other companies that investors should keep an eye out that are outside the semiconductor space. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. So right off the bat, I'm going to explain that outside of semiconductors, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about semiconductors at the end of this episode, I believe three big players here in this AI generator solution race are going to be clouding giants like Amazon, like Microsoft, and like Google. And right now, what's happening is thanks to all these plugins, thanks to all these generative AI solutions, we are seeing an influx of software developers creating new AI solutions. And we can see this article real quick that came out a few days ago that AI developers are stymied by server shortages at AWS, Microsoft, and Google. Remember, to kind of create generative AI software and solutions, you need a lot of computational power. And it is pretty expensive to kind of go out there and purchase your own supercomputer. So what AI developers are doing is obviously they go to these clouding giants like Amazon, like Microsoft and Google and rent out their computers. And these are based on consumption based models. So at the end of the day, this kind of AI developer push, in my opinion, is a big, big win for AW, for, for all these clouding giants, right? Before we go any further, I wanna thank you for watching and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I wanna thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. Episode. We did see that there is a shortage. I, I, I Right now, the shortage is a little bit interesting. I don't believe there is a complete shortage in computational power. I wonder if just these clouding giants are trying to be worried with this trend and not trying to put all their eggs in one basket. They're not trying to give all their consumptions to just AI developers when obviously they have so much other market opportunities. So I, I, I want to take a closer look. We don't have too much information here. We're probably going to get more information as, as the weeks continue to develop um, and as we get closer to earning season. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do believe AI developers are going to continue to use big clouding giants like um, AWS, like Microsoft, and like Google Cloud. We see this perfect example uh, on one article below where Bloomberg uses 1.3 million hours of GPU time for homegrown large language model. So Bloomberg decided, hey, look, we have plenty of data on our side, on the financial side. And instead of going out there and finding something, let's use our data to create our homegrown large language model, which we can use for our own solutions. And I believe other big players with a lot of big data are going to follow suit where they're going to be training their own homegrown large language models. And again, instead of maybe purchasing their own supercomputers, they might go to big players like Amazon, AWS, like Microsoft and Google Cloud to develop that large language model and to train them, right? So like I mentioned, I do believe a big player here are going to be the clouding giants outside of the semiconductor giants, right? Now let's go back to the semiconductor giants. Right now, I see two potential customers as well. So the first potential customer is obvious. It's these clouding giants, right? These clouding giants, if they need more computational power, they're going to go to big players like NVIDIA, like AMD, to continue to develop these supercomputers, even Intel, right? The second customer, though, here is if there does, if a bottleneck continues to happen, on server shortages, I do believe startups and, and these companies and even big tech giants probably are going to be like, OK, look, I don't I, this is a technology I need to move into really quickly. I can't handle the bottleneck shortage and waiting for for servers to open up. I'm going to have to go create my own servers. So I do believe that's also going to do well for server builders um, and also the semiconductor companies. So this was a pretty quick video, I know. 
But I, I, I want to just showcase how this generative AI solution is not only important in semiconductor companies, even though we mentioned uh, a few customers here, it's also could be a very, very good long-term investment idea for companies like Amazon, like Microsoft and Google. And we're still in early earnings, in my opinion, in software development with AI solutions. I believe we are going to continue to see more and more come out on a monthly basis. If you are really into the space, I'm pretty sure you're seeing new solutions come out on a weekly, maybe even on a daily basis right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day and see you next time.